In this Universe Sandbox video, we're going to try to make a sustainable galaxy that could actually live. Alright, so what I'm thinking is that I'm going to add a black hole, like Sagittarius A, because that's at the center of our galaxy, so, you know what, we could change the color of this so you can see it better. Uh, let's go with space blue. Or, actually, the lights in my room are green today, so we're going to go with green. There we go. Now you can see it, and we're going to just add a bunch of stars to it, I guess. I am not too sure how far away they should be, but we should set them to orbit, which is good. We can start with the sun. Just a bunch of stars, you know, because this is Sagittarius A, so I feel like all this should be fine, realistically. There's a bit of a star cluster in here that we could do. That'd be a good idea, unless they start colliding, and then we're in trouble. But that's that's the fun part. <laughs> all right. Now we'll add a few extra stars there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm not going to make a shape or anything with this one, but uh, just the general idea of this being a galaxy is kind of cool, you know? I haven't done this too many times, so I don't know anyone else who's done this really, so... Vega can go there. I don't know if I've done Sirius yet. There it is. We can zoom out there. And then we got Regulus. So we're on the light year scale, you can see the distance there. We're at 0.1 light years away, so this is a bit close. We can zoom out even more probably. Oh, that's 106, okay. Well, there we go, we can try something there. We can try Betelgeuse, because it's a bit bigger of a star. Okay. We can try some of the larger stars even more so. I wonder how this is going to orbit. It's going to take forever to orbit once. Stevenson, you're going to go the furthest, because you're the biggest. Okay, let's see here. Let's zoom back in. So there's Sagittarius A. We got a cluster of suns here. So this is Sagittarius. I, I'm worried about these stars because they're pretty close actually. They are set to orbit, so realistically they should be fine. I've had it where they collide. So now we're zooming out to the light year scale of measurement. And I think that's as far out as the stars go. We could add a bit more actually, you know? Yeah, let's add a few more. There's another Canis Majoris, maybe a bunch of them, just to make it a bit more full, yeah? Polaris, what kind of star is Polaris? It's like a yellow dwarf, yellowish white main sequence, okay, so it's sort of like the sun, interesting. And then a crab pulsar, I don't know what that is, <laughs> what does it say? It's a pulsar star, yeah, interesting, okay. Get a few of those in there. Yeah, we got a cluster in here. There's Sagittarius A. All right, I am worried for these suns here. And we're gonna hit play. You know what, we're gonna speed it up because we are on the galactic scale here, Jesus. But here we go in three, two, one, go. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's Beetlejuice and Polaris and stuff. Yeah, let's speed it up. This is probably what it would be like. Especially at the center, because I know there are like some stars that are pretty close to Sagittarius A, just like whizzing right around it, you know? I've seen some examples of that. It's actually going pretty smoothly. We could probably add more. Polaris. Now that it's actually going? Awesome! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting another supernova. But yeah, there's Regulus. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was looking for these guys. Because these guys are pretty far. Yeah. I don't even think they're... Mm. Ah! Oh, they are moving. They're going. Slowly but truly. It's just so far away from the black hole. Well, like, if we zoom into the black hole, there are a bunch more stars that are going a bit better, you know? Like this one. Anyway. We got like a bit of a galaxy here, yeah? It's actually working. Especially these inner ones. I was actually really worried that they were like gonna be too close. So that is pretty cool. Whoa. I cannot, these two, I'm gonna move this one out a little bit. Just so it's not on the same path as Rigel. Okay, that should be a bit better. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe we could get rid of the trails. Yeah. Look at those suns just whizzing around. That's going so fast. Then we slow time down, and it's like 
even slower out here as we go further out. That is crazy. Let's speed it up even more. As fast as we can. To the point where the game's like, nah. <laughs> oh, they're going. Whoa! Okay, they're whizzing. We are zooming through time. These ones are going, though. Damn. No supernovas yet. These ones haven't moved an inch. <laughs> Can we go any faster? Any faster? I just want to be able to see these ones move. Even at that speed. Wow. I think it is going. It's hard to tell. Ooh, that is bright as hell. This is our galaxy, though. It's no Milky Way, but it's custom. <laughs> okay. Oh, it kind of looks like a got a bit of a spiral thing going on here. I didn't even try. <laughs> I did it for the short. But uh, yeah, this is the galaxy. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what should we call this galaxy, you know? These ones have not moved whatsoever. Like, this crab pulsar ain't doing nothing. I think it's too far out for it to be, like, whipping around like these ones. These ones are going pretty solid. <laughs> I was not expecting this whatsoever. This is crazy. Just because the last time I tried this, it, like, it was just done, you know? But that is crazy. It actually worked, you know? Not too shabby. I wonder what the temperature is around here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like 100, 300,000 degrees. What about Beetlejuice? Oh, that's its normal, normal temperature. Okay. Oh, what's happening with Polaris? <laughs> you see, it's sort of like bugging there a little bit. Jeez. I'm shocked there are no supernovas going on right now. Damn. Okay, I think we got, I think we got a bit lucky with this one, but okay, we're gonna slow it down and just see an orbit. Oh, these ones are going so much slower around this central black hole here. This is crazy that it actually worked, and that's a bunch of suns too, like our suns. I just used that as an example for the first one. We just added a bunch more. It actually works, which is the crazy part. I didn't even have to create a berry center in order for it to like orbit properly. Oh, these ones are kind of moving. These ones are not. Okay. Oh, there we go. These ones, yeah, these ones are not really doing much. They're just too far away, I guess. But it is the, you, the uh, it's like, what is it, light years? What does it say? 106 light years away from the galaxy, yeah. It's not in that sort of scale. Almost 100... Oh no, that's a thousand! Sorry! That's almost a thousand light years away from the galaxy. Uh, well, the center of the galaxy. Damn! Okay. It's handy that it actually shows you. Eh. I haven't seen that before with, like, the distance, but... I wonder how far we could go. Oh, this is a sub-galaxy. Jesus. We created a sub-galaxy. Yeah, like a mini-galaxy. Jesus. I wonder how far we can go. Oh, God. Okay, that is insane. <laughs> Let's get back to it. This is actually working. I'm impressed. Just because, yeah, last time it did go to supernova. Nothing has yet, though. These ones are just whizzing around. Damn. That is so cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if I should do something else like this. I definitely was not expecting this sort of result, but uh, yeah, that was still pretty cool. We actually managed to make a galaxy. Wow. Now yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below for what else I should do for another video in the future. <laughs> Feel free to leave any suggestions, I will definitely get around to it. Feel free to leave this video a thumbs up if you like this sort of content. Don't hesitate to subscribe as well, we have lots of fun here. And I'll see you in the next one.